The telegrapher's equations may be used to derive the wave equations for voltage and current along a transmission line. Wave equations are differential equations that relate a quantity's second derivative in time to its second derivative in space. The solutions to these equations are waves, sinusoidal in both time and space. Think of an ocean wave. If you're standing in the water and measuring its depth over time, the ocean wave will manifest as an approximately sinusoidal variation in observed depth. That's because the wave is sinusoidal with time. Alternatively, if you could pause time and make your measurements as you move from the shore out toward the sea, you would see that same sinusoidal variation in depth. That's because the wave is also sinusoidal in space. To derive the wave equations for voltage and current along a transmission line, we start with the telegrapher's equations. These equations only have first derivative terms, and we know that for the wave equations we want second derivatives. So let's start by taking the derivative of the first equation with respect to space. Now we have a second derivative of voltage with respect to space on the left-hand side of the equation, which is what we want for the voltage wave equation. However, the right-hand side of the equation involves derivatives of current, which the voltage wave equation shouldn't have. Notice, though, that we can convert these to voltage expressions using the second telegrapher's equation. First, this term can be converted directly, and this term can be converted using the derivative with respect to time of the second telegrapher's equation. If we make these substitutions and collect like terms, this is our final expression of the wave equation for voltage. Notice that on the left-hand side of the equation, we have a second derivative with respect to space, as represented by the z variable, and on the right-hand side, we have a second derivative with respect to time. We can follow exactly the same process, starting with the second telegrapher's equation, to obtain the wave equation for current along a transmission line, which is given by this formula. Notice that this has exactly the same form as the equation for voltage. So both current and voltage must satisfy the same differential equation along the length of a transmission line. I want to take a moment here to point out that on a lossless transmission line, the series resistance and the shunt conductance both go to zero. So R and G are both zero in the telegrapher's equations and in the wave equations, leaving these lossless telegrapher's equations and these lossless wave equations.